morning travelers and welcome to Amsterdam. We are in Amsterdam in the Netherlands for the next few days. I'm really excited to explore this new to us city and country. We are very, very excited to be here. We actually arrived yesterday and it was King's Day, which is a huge celebration and it was quite chaotic, I'm not gonna lie, trying to navigate these streets with so many parties going on. Um, so, I didn't get to film a lot yesterday because of that. Uh, so this is our first full day officially in Amsterdam, so I'm really excited to really see the city and really get to learn its history and architecture and, and all the things. So we are starting today with going to go grab a coffee and then we are going to the Anne Frank house and then a few other things today. So I'm very, very excited. So this is my official welcome to the Amsterdam vlog. Let's go. me is the Anne Frank house and I'm sorry it's very windy so <laughs> excuse my parents but we are gonna go inside now for a tour and I'm not sure how much we can film in there so I will let you know if I can but we have arrived all right guys we just finished with the Anne Frank house and it was really sombering obviously very sad subject matter but it was beautiful to see standing in front of the original front and facade of the Anne Frank house and highly recommend seeing this if this is your first time to Amsterdam. It's sad but really good and um, I am really glad that we got to see it. Okay guys, we are standing in line for Fable Frites. Fable Frites is a very famous frite store. It's where you get french fries and all sorts of toppings and their special topping is truffle mayo. So of course I'm gonna get that. But the line is literally out the door because this place is so famous. So we are very excited to try this because it is like the place to go. Yeah. Alright guys, we got the masterpiece truffle mayo french fries from Fable Free. Alright guys, here are the french fries. Let's try one. So good. You gotta get these. We had just finished with Fable Free French Fries. Highly suggest. We're gonna walk around the stores a bit, maybe grab a coffee because we have our next museum at 2.45. So we have a little bit of time to walk around before then. So I'm not sure what we're gonna get up to, but we're just gonna make our way over to the MoCo Museum, which is our next reservation. guys welcome to our second museum of the trip this is the moco museum and it is a modern art museum so it's a little bit different than some of the other museums we're gonna see this trip very excited to go in here if you didn't know amsterdam is especially known for how many amazing museums they have so really excited to tick some off of our list this time so let's head on into the moco the MoCo Museum is an awesome little museum that displays modern contemporary art. And many of the artists featured here are quite famous. We saw art from Robbie Williams, Banksy, and even Andy Warhol. Tickets cost around 20 euros per person. And if you're a modern art fanatic, I do recommend visiting. We just popped back into the hotel for a brief moment after our tour of the MoCo Museum. We are actually in the Museum District, the museum quarter where our hotel is, which is the perfect spot if you're wanting to see museums. So we popped over here to just use the restroom, freshen up a bit, and plan the rest of our day. And I think we're going to pop back out now and 
and maybe get a little sweet treat before we continue walking the streets. So, can't wait. My favorite way to see any city is getting out and walking. It's the best and I found Amsterdam to be super walkable and we found honestly so many beautiful things just by sightseeing on foot. I highly recommend walking around the city and just taking in all the beauty. After walking around town a little bit, we are now heading to dinner. We're going to this place called Di Italian and we're very excited because it's got some good reviews for pizza. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead to dinner now and enjoy the rest of our evening. All the bikes. Hello, travelers. So, we just got back from dinner and I'm doing my skincare because I'm tired and I just took a shower and there's nothing like taking a shower at the end of the day. So I figured I would kind of close up today with chatting with you while I finish my skincare. So um, Amsterdam was amazing today. Obviously much different experience than when we first experienced it with king's day <laughs> um and the weather ended up being pretty good throughout the day which was really nice um so it was a really good first day in amsterdam i feel like we got a lay of the land a little bit better um which is good and we're very excited for tomorrow so tomorrow we are doing the van gogh museum um another museum and a canal tour and then i think we're gonna try to go to the red light district we tried to look for it tonight and i don't know i don't think we were in the right place so we're gonna do all that tomorrow which i'm very excited for um so i'm gonna go ahead and say good night for now and i will talk to you guys tomorrow on our next full day in amsterdam hi travelers welcome to day two well, technically day two and a half in Amsterdam, but welcome to the next day in Amsterdam. I am all dressed and ready to go, and the sun is out. I'm so, so excited. We have a full day filled with a lot of fun things, starting with definitely getting coffee and then off to a museum. I'm really excited for today, and yeah, so let's go ahead and get this day started. Museum. Um, we have our allotted time from 10:45 to 11 to come in, so you do get a little bit of space to make your entrance time. But we're really excited to pop into this museum. The Rijksmuseum is the National Museum of the Netherlands and it features Dutch art and history artifacts. It's truly so massive and beautiful. It reminded me a lot of the Louvre in Paris, but you can see many pieces by a lot of famous artists here like Rembrandt and Van Gogh. One of the most famous pieces to see is the Night Watch by Rembrandt. And I also highly suggest checking out the library that's located in the museum. It's so beautiful and yeah, it was just really amazing if you're a book lover like me. We are walking around town now, guys, trying to find a little something to eat. Surprisingly, some restaurants are closed today because it's Monday. So don't know if that's like a regular thing, if it's because it's slightly off season. I don't know. But anyway, we're trying to find something to eat and enjoy the sun before we head over to the Van Gogh Museum. 
All right, we had a little snack and we walked back to our room to use the restroom, freshen up a bit. And now we are off to the Van Gogh Museum. We're inside the Van Gogh Museum now, heading in. I really enjoyed the Van Gogh Museum. I loved learning more about Van Gogh's sad life. And if you didn't know, Van Gogh was actually born in the Netherlands. While he wasn't exactly born in Amsterdam, he was actually born in another city. I do appreciate being able to tour this museum in Amsterdam and learn about him while visiting the city. He's definitely one of my favorite artists. We just finished with the Van Gogh Museum and it was beautiful. Although it was a little busy in there, I think that they maybe should allow less people in at a time because the rooms are very small. But regardless, it was super, super beautiful. And I think if I had to recommend any of the museums we've been to so far, it'd probably be that one just because Van Gogh is so cool and his history is amazing. But anyway, now it's time to enjoy this beautiful weather we're having. We're gonna go walk around Amsterdam and look at the canals. on the boat I'm on the back here so nobody else comes maybe I'll just lay down I'm just kidding but it is a pretty good spot and Jamie's right here <laughs> Okay, so if you take none of my other advice, please at least take this advice. Do a canal tour. This was so fun and it is truly the best way to truly experience the city. There are so many different types of canal tours that fit everyone's needs. So if you want a more private tour, a more romantic, covered, uncovered, really there's just everything. So do your research and just find the perfect tour for you. But I definitely recommend it. It was a highlight of our weekend in Amsterdam. We just finished with the canal tour and I would say if there's anything that I think you should definitely do in Amsterdam, it's definitely doing a canal tour and seeing everything from the water. It's just a totally different perspective. It's so beautiful and so fun. Uh, so highly recommend it. I'll definitely put the tour that we did down below if you're interested in our specific tour, but it was so much fun. Okay guys, we just had the best dinner. I'm gonna put the restaurant name right here. Highly recommend it. It's like Mediterranean food. Um, it was so yummy and the workers were so kind. I think it was the owner that we met. He was the nicest guy. So highly recommend it if you're looking for something that is more like Mediterranean food, something different for dinner that, yeah, we recommend it. We are all packed up and ready to head out to the airport. Amsterdam has been super, super fun. It's beautiful here. It's got a lot to do. Um, we'll definitely be back sometime in the future, but glad that I was able to experience it. And if you want to see my other video where we did a day trip to see the tulips and some other cool things, definitely look out for that video. Um, it'll show you some really awesome things to do that are pretty close to Amsterdam, so gives you some options for some day trips. But I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did, and definitely subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you in my next one. Happy travels!